Oh, hello and welcome to another quality amateur radio production by VK6CS. This is an old uh, bird multi-purpose through line watt meter uh, model 4381 and uh, according to the instruction manual this one here it is from or the book at least is from 1979 it certainly looks that sort of vintage so uh, Craig VK6 FLAM the other day said that he picked this up at a reasonable price on eBay he didn't have any slugs to try it out so he said uh, any chance you could try this out and I said yeah why not so here we go um, you've got a 50 watt slug here and a 5 watt slug here now this is reading the forward power this is reading the reflected power it says in the uh, in the manual that um, the ratio has to be 10 to 1 power wise between this one and this one so it's 50 watts this is 5 watts that's a 10 to 1 ratio um, I've got the forward element range uh, set to 5 watts now it's in the middle you can have 2.5 5 or 10 and over here you can range that times 1 times 10 times 100 so I've got 5 times 10 is 50 watts it's set to okay now this thing is actually optimistically called uh, an RF power analyst now not an analyzer an analyst that sort of suggests to me that you can just you know leave it alone and it will go and do its thing and then tell you how it got on but um, I've done that and it's remained completely motionless so uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to supply a little bit of input here I'm probably have to gonna, gonna have to switch it on maybe and see what happens okay that's a good sign got a zero in the display um, I've also got over here a Yaesu FT857 which is set to 10 watts output now unfortunately um, I could only get a couple of UHF slugs with a 10 to 1 ratio so I can't test it on any band other than 70 centimeters but that's okay uh, I've got 10 watts coming out of the FT857 now if you look at the um, selections here on the little keyboard we've got um, this pencil might be easier just to point things out there's the um, forward power there's the reflected power there's the SWR then we've got forward power peak envelope power uh, reflected power peak envelope power percentage of modulation return loss um, reflected uh, DBM forward DBM okay and in this book in the uh, in the manual here we have uh, we have some tables here so this one here is showing us the voltage standing wave ratio there we go so that's showing us return loss in this column here so we'll try this anyway in a second to see how we go with it um, okay so let's try forward power nine point four watts so far so good reflected power zero watts as you would expect because uh, I do have uh, connected here got a 50 ohm dummy load and uh, the radio is connected over on this side here so zero is what you expect to see with a 50 ohm dummy load so far so good go to SWR um, not quite sure what these things are I think they're just out of range indications I press the PTT and we see one SWR of one with a 50 ohm dummy load on it that's exactly what I'd expect to see okay so let's go to what's the next row down the next row down is uh, forward peak envelope power so I select that then I'll select upper sideband on the uh, on the radio and what I should see is uh, pretty much what I saw with FM because the uh, the SSB peak envelope will be about the, uh, about the same size as the maximum FM carrier you get out of these things Yep, 9.4 watts. And again, reflected peak envelope power. I'd expect that to be zero. 
Yes, it is. Percentage of modulation, that's a difficult one because uh, with SSB there's no carrier. But it's seeing some numbers and uh, they're jumping around, that's probably okay. Uh, so let's go to uh, forward DBM. Go to forward DBM, and what do we get? Uh, put it back to uh, sorry, forward. <laughs> put it back to FM would help, wouldn't it? There we go. Forward uh, forward power in DBM FM. Okay, so that's thirty nine point eight DBM. Let's say. And if we go to the table here in the manual. DBM equivalents, what's DBM equivalents? So we had 39.8, we might as well call that 40 DBM. So if we get a look at our table here, we have 40 DBM is 10 watts. Surprise, surprise. Which is uh, what we're putting into it. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, return DBM, we expect that to be zero. So yeah, it's out of range. Uh, return loss, we just uh, Select that um, uh, return loss there. Go back to there. That's saying the return loss is 36.1. Let's go to the table here. Uh, where did that go? Right, here we go. So that was uh, 36.1. We got 36.6 there. So 36.6 is uh, saying it's an SWR of 1.03 to 1. So we've got nothing to worry about with that uh, with that SWR. That's that's fine. Okay, so I'd say this uh, this thing's doing a pretty good job. Um, so we've done the return loss. We've done the forward DBMs, which is about right. Forward power. Um, so I would say this is certainly uh, certainly plenty good enough for uh, amateur radio applications. As I say, it, um, the AM on the um, eight five seven. There's not a huge amount of modulation on the AM on the 857, and because the book, the manual said that um, the, the amount of power on AM you have to put in for, into it to be able to measure it is a certain percentage of the forward power slug, a certain percentage of 50 watts now. 10 watts on 70 SEMs, if I select AM on the 857, that's only going to be an unmodulated carrier. Uh, give me an unmodulated carrier power about 2.5 watts, 3 watts maybe. and. Um, I think that's going to be just too small for it to see. We'll just try that. I'll just get percentage modulation. And go through to AM. That's AM. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, no, I can't see that. Um, I, I suspect that um, if I had um, a bit more power, uh, actually. No, it's okay. If I had a bit more power, that would probably read the uh, read the AM uh, modulation. And um, I think I showed you that table, didn't I? When I was when I was putting SSB into it, I mean that's uh, amplitude modulation. We know carrier. Um, that's uh, um, there was a table there to show uh, the percentage of modulation. Um, so amplitude modulation table. There we go. So we would have been able to. Um, uh, I'm sure that if we had a, a bit more power with AM, we'd be able to just uh, look up the um, uh, look up the number there we had and uh, look at the modulation level. Uh, so I think uh, I think this device is a winner. The old uh, 4381 from 1979. Um, what I'll do, I'll just do one more quick test, and that is I'll just put the radio back to FM, and I'll go to. Uh, forward power CW, which is pretty much FM. I'll just keep quiet and it'll be CW. <laughs> 9.4 watts. Okay. So I'll just disconnect this and I'll just uh, compare it with a. Um, I'll use this. I'll use this. Um, this same slug here. I'll take this slug out and I'll put it in a Bird 43 uh, through line 43 analog meter, and just see what uh, what that tells us the power is. Just to see how close that power reading is to a uh, more modern commercial unit. So just have a look at that. 
9.4 watts. I'll just pause that and I'll be back in uh, less than one blinking jiffy. Well, there you go, that was a lot less than one blinking jiffy. Um, I do apologise for that glare, I hope you can see that. Alright, anyway, I've uh, connected the Bird, uh, Bird 43. That is the same slug, I've just taken that slug out of the other unit and configuration is the same, there's the dummy load, there's the radio and let's press the PTT and see how close this reads to 9.4 watts. Ha, oh, look at that. It's pretty much identical. You can see that. That uh, That's reading about 9.5, if you can see that, can you, with that... Uh, it's just below 10 watts there, it's between 9 and 10 watts, about halfway between 9 and 10 watts in fact. So um, I would say that's uh, uh, that old unit from uh, from back in the 70s there, the uh, the Bird 4381, is uh, is a winner. So there we go. I hope you found that uh, interesting or informative or both. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.